Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome to your tarot reading. We're going to talk about love, dating, romance, things of that sort. Please come into the reading with an open heart and an open mind, a desire to learn something or better yourself. If the messages that come through for you don't resonate, feel free to push them aside. Uh, you may want to revisit the messages at a later date. You are accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. This is, of course, optional advice, guidance, and energy check-in. So trust your own intuition above all else. All right, we're going to hop in, hopefully get you some helpful, insightful messages. I always like to set that intention. All right, Aquarius, so let's see. You seem to be dreaming about a Leo, or a Leo is dreaming about you, and they might even be writing something about you, or they may have had to interview you for something, or they're just very chatty when they do see you. They send you a lot of texts. They're very animated when they talk to you. Uh, it could just be, too, in terms of, like, writing about you. For some of you, it could have been some sort of connection where someone was writing, like, a piece on you or had to get, like, a quote from you, and that could have been some sort of connection, like, through, I don't know, if it was, like, a reporter. I'm just giving you kind of, like, a, a, a you know, symbolism of, of sort of how this is sort of translating. If that doesn't make sense, some of you, this is just a person who, like, writes in their journal or, uh, you know, keeps keeps little, you know memos that they write in their phone they could write a song about you or poetry about you it's almost like you're their muse scorpio uh, or vice versa you know you may have like a very deep soul and you might be you know the person writing these these deep thoughts and lyrics uh, again a, potentially about a leo um there is kind of like a lot of studying, learning, education, writing energy here. So I'm not sure how that translates in, in, in your dating life, but it could be that you're connecting with someone on a work project or for those who are in school, you know, in college or whatever. There could be someone that you're working on a project with and like there's a lot of like kind of... Um, unspoken maybe like sexual tension there but I don't know if it's necessarily unspoken though because it seems like there's a lot of like really warm flirtation like you really enjoy being around this person it just feels like they're they're a beam of sunshine um I really like that so if you don't know who this person is keep your eyes out because it seems like you're connecting with someone soon uh especially on some sort of a uh, work project or writing project as I said um for some of you who have children your child uh, your child may may be starting to date for the first time um and so that's just kind of like an exciting chapter. And the thing is, I, if that resonates for any of you, you seem to like your child's significant other or whoever they're bringing home to meet you or, or whatever. Um, you may actually find a piece of writing um, about, you know, again, like kind of like romantic poetry or sappy poetry about someone. And especially for those who have a young daughter, I feel like, uh, you know, your daughter might be connecting with someone in a, in a healthy way. I don't see any red flags there. So that's just kind of like a cute little message like, oh, that's adorable. All right, what else can I tell you, Scorpio? It's funny, there's so much uh, Leo energy coming through with these two cards, I almost want to call you Leo, so I'm hoping I don't do that. If I do, I apologize. I know we're in the Scorpio energy here, but Leo is coming through really strong. All right, so then you have kind of this two of coins energy. So needing to make a decision of one person. So this may be entirely unrelated, new message. For some of you, it feels like you're kind of in this energy of not so much like juggling per se. This To me, two of, two of coins, as long as it looks like a, a happy depiction of it, can just be the idea of putting yourself out there, you know, trying people on for size, seeing what bites back, seeing who's a good fit for you. But then two of swords is like, all right, I, you know, I've been seeing these one or two people, you know, several times, or, you know, maybe it's more than that, right? Maybe I've connected with several people on occasion and now it's time like, I think I want to move forward with one. I just want to make sure I'm ready and that I, it's like making this final decision of bringing it from two to one. Um, for a lot of you, that may involve a, a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, some of you may be waiting on a decision for someone else to essentially come forward and ask you out or again, or like connect and ask you out again. Uh, it may be that you've gone on a few dates with this person and there's, they're still kind of keeping you guessing a little bit, especially an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, you know, per use those earth signs, they're always so busy. Um, it's not, it's not to say that they don't like you. It's just that they, they have a lot of responsibility. They have a lot on their plate. And so, yeah, like their dating life isn't their sole focus right now so you may be ready to make very quick plans and you know lock it down and put a you know put a date on the calendar for the next time you're meet, meeting up or whatever I think you got to be a little bit patient but you know ace of coins is very positive so I think if, if you're relating to that scenario especially with an earth sign again maybe a Leo it doesn't have to be I do think you'll hear back but it's it's slow to start it's slow to start um, something about meeting up in the city does that make sense to you maybe I, I don't know I'm just hearing meeting up in the city in the city um, maybe you live at a distance from this person maybe you know you're there's like a um, 
happy medium of where you guys can meet up that's you know not as far as having to drive all the way to their place or whatever it's like meeting up in the city I, I don't know what that is but maybe you just have fun date a fun plans to do something in New York or Boston or LA or you know wh whatever city is closest to you um, let's see it could be that someone is from uh, from one of those cities I mentioned like that could be their hometown so they may talk a lot about that their roots and their hometown and their upbringing uh, and so maybe you're making plans or, or uh, yeah plans to visit or take a little trip there or something Let's see. <clears throat> There's lots of dreamy energy here, fantasizing about someone. Definitely a lot of like, I don't know, for some of you, there could be like sex dreams or, um, yeah, definitely thinking about your person in, in a sexual capacity when you're by yourself. Wink, wink. You know what I'm trying to say there. Um, <laughs> and then let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I, I mean, there could be like a really strong sexual connection here that's very like meditative and dreamy and kind of like this Piscean energy of like, it almost feels like you, you travel to another world when you're intimate with this person. Like it's a whole other vibe. It's a whole other level. Um, yeah, there's something very calming and passionate. This could also be with a, uh, did I, I said Pisces already. This could also be with a Cancer or a Virgo as well. Um, ooh, Scorpio, that looks good. That looks really like, <laughs> that looks hot and hot and heavy, but in a way that's really like very Scorpio, like very deep, like very, uh, yeah, it's, it's not rushed. It's like the slow unfolding of something that feels just very like electric. And that's not even a good word though. Cause I feel like that's, uh, I think there's a better, better verb I can come up with there, but <laughs> I think you know what I mean. That could be with a fire sign as well. Your King of Wands is kind of showing up here too. Some of you feel like you're dating someone that your friends don't approve of or your family doesn't approve of. And I think this card is saying you need to, like, silence the critics and just completely, uh, you know, follow what's true in your heart. You know, I think as long as you feel like you're in a healthy relationship where this person treats you well and respects you and vice versa, um, you know, do you own own who you are and what you want in your dating life. And it, it's not your responsibility to have to explain it to people who don't understand. It's almost like this reminder from the universe that you need to just like silence. Silence maybe your inner criticism, your inner judgment to your yourself, especially body issues, but also the idea of sort of, you know, people wanting to weigh in on your decisions, like the peanut gallery, you know, that expression is just like, it doesn't matter if your, your mom or dad likes this guy or, you know, your sister, your cousin, your friend, it's because as long as you like it. And again, there's again, respect, healthy connection here. Like you have no reason not to pursue this. And I think, I, I know that sounds obvious, but for some of you, that's been like a major factor in your love life is feeling like you're the people in your life approve of your dating prospects enough so that it seems to be sort of a pattern where maybe it's actually something you know in your destiny in your birth chart however you want to say it where you're meant to sort of break the mold of, of quote-unquote tradition or what people expect of you specifically in in your romance or your dating life particularly for my leo risings that that would be very apt uh, very uh, on 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 brand for leo risings if your seventh house is uh ruled by aquarius right there might be something unique or different about the person you choose to bring home or or ultimately kind of engage with in long-term romantic relationships um so own it embrace it love it yeah and the thing is you seem to be um but there is sort of that oh gosh like when i when i introduce them to the gang what are they going to say what are they going to think you know are they going to text me later what they really thought and it's like you don't need to worry about that this, this actually feels like a, a really, I, I'm liking this this uh, storyline over here that's unfolding. Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag. It doesn't have to be those signs, but those are the ones that are really calling out to me. Um, there's a very strong spiritual soul connection here. It's not just about like the physical pleasure and the attraction and the body. That's definitely part of it. Don't get me wrong. I think there's, you know, hot sex is coming to mind, right? But also there's like a deep soul connection. There's almost... There could even be sort of like this kind of psychic, like uh, reading each other's minds or feeling like you guys are just very much on the same page. Um, I'm hearing right place at the right time. Um, so if this isn't in your life, I always say when it comes through in the cards, you definitely have the ability to manifest this energy. Um, and something about it, it just feels right. I'm hearing for the first time. So it may it may be that... Um, there's actually a couple messages there for the first time. Interesting. This could be the first person in a long time who you've connected on a more like intimate level with, um, especially in the bedroom, right? Um, others of you, it could be that you've dated a lot of people and it's, it's not that it's lacked chemistry, but it eventually fizzled out and it couldn't maintain sort of that deep 
connection, you know, through the years or through the months or whatever it is. Like there's, there's been not misconnections, but again, connections that fizzled. So this feels like something that actually has really good staying power. I'm really liking the Leo energy here. I, I have to say it. It's, it's coming through very strongly with these two cards. Um, what else can I tell you? Someone in this relationship may choose to go back to school or somebody in this relationship may practice law um, or, or work in some sort of legal field. Some, someone in this relationship might be a writer or a researcher. <clears throat> and yeah, um, for those who are already in a relationship, there may be more money going to support education in the coming months. I don't know if you're putting your kids through school or someone's going back to school for a degree or there's money going towards or maybe legal fees. I, I don't know why that's coming through, but, you know, it, it may or may not impact your dating relationship. So I guess that's why. The thing is, the cards surrounding it are so positive, though. I don't necessarily think it's like a huge like burden but it, it is something to look out for that you guys may need to like pool your money together in order to do this and 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 still you know live comfortably and do the things you want to do but yeah there's there's something that's going to require you to spend some money but i think it's something for pleasure and, and enjoyment or something that's going to get you ahead in, in your career so it's it's definitely worth the investment but yeah it's, for so, some of you that's that's coming uh to say, like, maybe don't be so careless or reckless with your money, especially if you're going out on these lavish dates and, you know, paying for everything and this and that. It's like there might need to be more balance in, in what you're spending your money on or, or being more choosy, being more being more picky. Let's see. For some of you, there's engagement on the horizon. Some of you are planning a wedding or planning some sort of fancy party. It could even be like, uh, you might be a bridesmaid or a maid of honor or, you know, the, the male equivalent of that. You know, what what is it? I can't think of it. Like the the dude who stands there with the rings. <laughs> What's his name, Scorpio? I don't know. Some of you may be helping to plan a wedding or, I don't know, be surrounded by people who are in, uh, in love and throwing some sort of, you know, party or anniversary or something. And it kind of gets you thinking about your future and your partner. Um, and you know, for some of you, uh, this feels more kind of like single, not married, but you know, it may resonate for some of you if for, who are coupled up, but it kind of gets you thinking about like long-term what you want in, in a partnership and, and kind of the idea of manifesting or vision boarding or, or really kind of writing down on a list, um, or writing down on paper, like a list of qualities and traits and what you desire in a mate so that you can kind of work your magic to, to call that in, to bring that in and connect with the universe, you know, in a more spiritually to call, call your person in, call your soulmate in, um, work it that again, that energy is, is potent here. It's quite potential. So you may as well tap into it and, and work to manifest it if there are no prospects on the horizon right now. Some of you, there's just like this really fun, witty banter. I hate that word banter. It just drives me nuts, but that, it's a good way of describing it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have said that because it actually is adorable. It's not a negative message by any means, but you connect with someone and it's like the words, the vocabulary, the, the phrases you guys use are on like the next level. There's just something you really enjoy about writing them. So there may even be like this old school, like you guys write each other physical letters almost as like sort of an homage to like, you know, old school romance, like this is more like, you know, Romeo and Juliet. And like, again, exchange of, of poetry or lyrics or sending, it could even be sending each other like YouTube clips of like your favorite music. But there's something about you really take the time to like unplug from everything else. And like, you really like listen to those lyrics, like you absorb them, you digest them there. Cause it, it, there's something very profound in like the words this person sends to you or the messages, you know, even if it is through lyrics and, and, um, you know, music they like, it's like that they're expressing their heart to you through that. And there's something that it just, it feels really good. It feels really romantic. And it feels like this person is just on your level. I like this very much Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, may, maybe some Gemini. Yeah, I, I triple I triple down on the Leo, though. There's a lot of Leo energy coming through here. So anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, Scorpio.